second, let's talk about the second performance aspect in here, the memory. So you have RAM, you have the physical RAM. If you can upgrade your RAM, that is great. But if you cannot, you can also increase the virtual RAM. So actually, it is available in the advanced settings. So view advanced system settings. So it will bring you to this window. And then there is the performance. Under performance, you click on settings. Here, you can go to advanced. Yeah, you can also check the other processes. So adjust for best performance. You can click this one. Okay. And then advanced, you can adjust best performance for either your foreground or the running programs or the background surfaces. And then this is the most important one, the virtual memory. Particularly, that is the area of hard disk that is used as a RAM. So the difference between hard disk and RAM is the speed. So RAM is much, much faster than storage. However, if you don't have enough RAM, then you can allocate some of the hard disk or SSD space as a RAM. So the default here should be automatically manage paging file size. So this is the virtual memory I'm talking about. If you don't set it to automatic, you can untick that. And then you can set a custom size. I prefer to do it like this. So the initial size is the same as the maximum size. So you can set like 20,000 or this is 10,000 for my case. So actually, it is written somewhere that is recommended to set it to the same amount as your RAM. So let's say I here, I have 24 gigabytes of RAM. So ideally, I should make it to 24 gigabytes as well, which is 24,000 megabytes. And then after you set that, you click on set and then press OK. And then from there, the system will ask you to restart your computer. So it will take effect after you restart the computer. Yeah, so that is one practical thing to do for the memory.